Welcome to Electro Online. In this video series, we're going to talk about second order differential equations, and in particular, we're going to talk about linear second order differential equations first. We'll talk about nonlinear later. So, what is a linear second order differential equation? Well, it looks in the format as follows it is y double prime plus f of x times y prime plus g of x times y equals r of x. Now notice that these are all functions of x only, not of x and y or of y. So this can only be a function of x, this can only be a function of x, and this can only be a function of x. Notice y double prime, y single prime, and y. So this is dy, this is the second derivative of y respect to x, this is the first derivative of y respect to x, and this is simply y. So to make it easy for ourselves, so y double prime is the same as the second derivative of y with respect to x, y single prime is equal to dy dx. So it's simply an equation that contains both the second derivative, the first derivative, and also the function. Now, notice it doesn't always have to include all of the terms. Just like with the first order differential equations, we can have homogeneous differential equations of the second order and non-homogeneous. Homogeneous simply means that on the right side of the equal sign, we simply have a zero. So r of x is equal to zero. On the right side, you see that r of x does exist, and that's then considered a non-homogeneous second order differential equation. Now notice here some examples. Here we have y double prime plus 5 times y equals 0. Notice that the y prime term is not there. But nevertheless, it is still a legitimate second order differential equation as long as it has a y double prime. All second order differential equations all will contain a y double prime term. They don't, do not have to contain any of the other terms to be considered a second order differential equation. Notice that this is a homogeneous type because on the right side the equal sign we have a zero. This is non-homogeneous because on the right side we have a number other than zero. It could be a constant or it can be a function of x. For example, we can turn this into 5x and that would then be an example of a non-homogeneous second order differential equation. Here's an example of a nonlinear type so you can see the difference. Notice that the function in front of the y double prime, the, d, the second derivative of y respect to x, is not a function of x. And so therefore, if I then want to rewrite that, for example, if I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 5y so I can isolate y prime, this would turn into y double prime plus 1 over 5y times y prime is equal to 0. And then you can see that this here is not a function of x as is required by the general form. It's not a function of x, so therefore this is not a linear second order differential equation. However, it is still a second order differential equation that may be able to solve by different techniques not belonging to the techniques that we're going to learn regarding linear second order differential equations. So we'll start out with the linear type and then we'll move on later on to the nonlinear type. So now you have been introduced to what second order differential equations look like when they're linear, when, they're, when they are homogeneous or non-homogeneous, and so now we're going to learn all different techniques to solve these various types of second order differential equations of the linear type. So stay tuned and we'll start on the first example on the next video.